If you've already subscribed, please click the bell button for instant notifications of any new videos. Jarrett Lau here with Green Ocean Property Management. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about one of my least favorite topics, and that's landlord mistakes, or even property manager mistakes. What am I talking about here? Now, this video could go on for ages, right? There's mistake after mistake after mistake that can be done. My job is to be able to help you minimize them, and more importantly, avoid them before they even happen. Prior planning prevents poor performance, right? So we say this because we want to make sure you get good tenants in the unit. We hear all these nightmares of, oh, my tenants don't pay rent. Oh, my tenants are breaking things. Oh, the, you know, complaint after complaint about tenants. It's the people that you put into the unit. So we interview every single tenant. We make sure that they have strong income, at least three times a monthly rent of it. We have strong credit score. We use 640 as a credit score. Any type of pet that we do allow, we have a formal pet screening process, right? You need to have a process for all these things and don't bend on it. Well, they seem like a really nice person. Anybody can interview well. At the end of the day, the numbers don't lie. Income, right? credit scores, any other type of thing that you want to be able to make sure that they're qualified in. They can be the greatest people in the world, but at the end of the day, they need to have the qualifications. But having that interview, looking at someone face to face, making that time to be able to do so, because they're going to be living in your unit for 12 months, if not longer, is really important. Once you put someone bad into your unit, it's a nightmare to be able to get them out. So biggest mistake that is about that. Second is deferred maintenance. Deferred maintenance really costs you more money at the end of the day. Landlords are penny wise, pound foolish sometimes. Oh, it's just a little drip into my house. That means mold. It means sickness. It means tenants complaining. It means the city getting involved. Don't do that, right? You want to make sure that you have someone going through your property, making sure handrails are tight, making sure that there's no loose steps, nothing that's going to cause any type of issues that cause you a liability and a lawsuit. Right. Speaking of lawsuits, you want to make sure that you're going to handle all the financials properly. The number one thing that landlords get sued about in the state of Massachusetts is mishandling of security deposits. What I mean by that is they need to be held in a separate interest bearing escrow account. And that is an account that has nothing to do with your money. And that account has to be opened under the tenant's name, under their ID and the interest every year that gets accrued. I don't care if it's three pennies needs to be sent back to them with a statement. And again, you need to open up this account within 30 days and you need to be able to return that security deposit within 30 days again, if the tenants vacate. So those are probably my top landlord mistakes. If you or anyone else you know is looking for for a property manager to help guide you through avoiding these mistakes in the first place, please think of Green Ocean Property Management. We get more than a property manager, you get peace of mind.